and the first demo will be CPP depend. Here we get the demo started from CPP depend. Um, it's a tool you can go to cpdepend.com uh, to get the overview and download the demo. Let's get the demo mm -hmm. rolling. Okay. So hello everybody. I'm uh, Isam from uh, CPB Tip and Team. I will uh, show you quickly some uh, major features of our product, and also show you a big future that we launch next month uh, concerning artificial intelligence in CPD Pent. So first, uh, CPD Pent is uh, very easy to set up. You have just to add your project to paths. It could be this studio or CMake, whatever. After that, you can launch the analysis and you have the result after a few seconds to few minutes, depending of the size of your projects. So first we have a dashboard. You can see many metrics in dashboard. Can have dependency graph. Uh, so you have a dependency matrix to go deep into your dependencies. You can just double click to go inside of each independency. You have a three map matrix. And you have also many out of the box rules uh, for coding so that we like served Misra and others. So for example, code smells, you can just check what code smells do you have and uh, you can get quickly many interesting issues found by CPD Pend. So after that, you can have also uh, a files view. So you can just click on a file. You can navigate to your issues and uh, also check if you have any difference between two versions after the modification of your code. So you can get uh, technical depth of the issue, severity of the issue, and also many interesting metrics about uh, your code. So what I want to show you today is our next future. So until now with CPD Pend, uh, we have many futures, but the user uh, have some difficulties to find what he wants from the tool because we have uh, we have uh, many panels we have many possibilities many futures uh, in the menu we have also many possibilities so it's our product with uh, many many features that's very difficult to use at the beginning but with this new future, we can uh, go at uh, exactly what we want just by asking with uh, human language. For example, there I can ask for most complex methods. And uh, automatically I have the result. I can double click to go or click to go to the source. I can get more details about the result by clicking there. So uh, I have the result there. Also, I can export the result to a graph, a matrix, an HTML text, or whatever. For example, there I have the result with the complexity, but I want also to add lines of code. So automatically, lines of code are, uh, is added. I uh, can also add many other metrics in the same grid. Uh, it's very easy to, to do that. Can, for example, I want high issues with severity high in my code. So I can have, uh, can have the result, can click there to have more details about where the problems exist. For example, in this method, I can double click to go to the source. Uh, I can, for example, ask for most recurrent issues in my code. It's interesting to know which kind of issues is the most uh, existing in my code, so I can have quickly the result. So this future is not available today. It will be available uh, next month with our next major version. So you can access to all the speed depend 
few tips very easily. For example, I can ask for a graph of a foundation project. I have a project named foundation. So I can have a uh, visit there. So automatically I can see that foundation use STL, Windows API and uh, other libraries, external libraries. So this is our next major features that we'll make using of SCP depend uh, uh, very easily. I can, for example, ask for the audit also. Uh, I can ask for audit of the foundation project. And I can have a visit. So there I have a, a summary of all the problems, the major problems in my projects uh, concerning the coupling, corrosion of types, uh, method too big, method too complex, and I have many metrics about uh, the project. I have also which type, which classes I have to check because they are complex in the code or which method I have to check. I can audit also just one class, for example, can ask to audit only. So this class, uh, I see that's not cohesive, only one method, high coupled, highly coupled, and can have the metrics of the class and which method is the most complex in this class. I can also ask for a summary of this class. So the summary gives you just, a, uh, just uh, a, a quick description about your class. For example, the class is part of which namespace, which project uh, class has, how many methods, how many fields. It's small class, uh, has uh, two constructor, one virtual method, two static methods, and uh, most used type by this class, most external type used, for example, there, and uh, which type are using this class, and also some metrics about this class, and some links can have uh, source code and graphs, matrix, graph and the bench graph so the summary gives you a quick idea about a class so for any developer architect or designer whatever he can just use this new feature to ask exactly what he wants before he must uh, check many possibilities from the menu from the panels to get exactly what you want but now it's very easy just ask to depend with your natural language you can ask uh, even in german in french whatever uh, it's not a it's not just english you can ask for uh, you uh, with your human language not exactly the english and you can have a, a visit uh, so it will uh, make the cpd paint very easy to use and uh, to begin uh, with without having difficulties uh, from the beginning. And also, uh, for example, you have many other features. For example, for the graph, uh, you can have uh, many possibilities. For example, I can go back to the whole graph. For example, I, I search for a specific class. So automatically, it zoom to the class concerned. Uh, I can, after that, go to this class, uh, generate graph of color colors for this one. It's zoom exactly to this class, what's happening there. And with the toolbar, I have many options to check exactly all dependencies of this class. I can export to the matrix to get more information about dependencies. For example, there I have all dependencies in the matrix to get exactly what's happening uh, inside my, my class. We have also the matrix view. Uh, in the matrix view, it's uh, a view with 
rectangle if each rectangle represent a class so the red rectangle have uh, the class that that not maintainable because the color is proportional to the maintainability but we can change uh, the metric there the size also by default is proportional to lines of code but we can also change the metric so we have many possibilities in uh, in the speedy pend and uh, you can quickly customize as you want as you want uh, the your queries for example there from the from the circling query i can uh, for example there i can get the methods uh, where the complexity is more than 13. So I can do it quickly. Uh, and we can, of course, use any other metrics there uh, because we have uh, many metrics in SpeedyPend. So you can quickly uh, develop your custom rules, custom queries uh, with SpeedyPend. Also, you can, for example, uh, ask, uh, for example, how much cost the resolution of file implementation class. You can also ask a question like that. It can give you the, this value. So why this value? Because we calculate this value from the technical depth. And from there, you can customize as you want. Uh, it's depending of how much cost a man hour of development in your case, and how many hours in day. Uh, you have some customization to do there. And uh, using the technical depth, we can go have approximation of the money needed to resolve a class or a namespace or a project. So with SIPSP depend, we have many, many, many possibilities. And I think with this new feature, it will be very easy to, to use it uh, with the next version. So uh, I hope that I give you uh, a brief description of CPT Pend, and if you have any question, you can send us an email to our support. We'd be more than happy to uh, to answer your question. Yeah, um, there's actually one question: Is there like a, a license for students available? Uh, yes, yes, for students and for open source projects. So okay. if uh, for for students and any open source project, it's free. Okay, nice. And uh, of course, there is uh, the website which I um, posted to LinkedIn. Um, mm -hmm. So thank you for the demo. That's You're welcome. a nice tool which you've built over the years there.